Okay, sixth grade, lesson 113. This one is on adding and subtracting mixed measures and then also multiplying by powers of 10. Now, let's talk about the mixed measures first. For example, this is what I mean by that. <clears throat> if I had an hour and 40 minutes, okay? Let's say I ran for an hour and 40 minutes. And then about three hours later, I decided to run again for an hour and 50 minutes. Now I want to try to figure out how long did I ride in all, or um, how long did I exercise today? Okay, so help me figure this out. Whenever you're doing um, hours and minutes, you need to completely see them as different numbers. Okay, so let's talk about the minute side first. Don't worry about the hours. 50 minutes plus 40 minutes makes um, 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Now, in just a minute, we'll do something with this. Okay, but let's go and figure out our hours. One hour plus another hour makes two hours. two hours. Now, can I take some of these minutes to make it an hour? Yes. Okay, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. Okay, so I'm going to take away 60 minutes and bring it over here to make it give me one more hour. So I have three hours. You see what I did? So then 60 minutes from 90 minutes it leaves us 30. There you go. So I exercised for a total of three hours and 30 minutes. See how I did that? Okay, now let's try one more. <clears throat> this one's a subtraction problem, which sometimes a lot of people can get these confused in their head. All right, this one is um, a measurement. I have a piece of wood that is six foot and five inches. Six feet, five inches. And I need to cut off four feet and eight inches. Now, again, we need to see them as complete different entities for a minute, okay? Can I take eight inches from five? Nope. What do I need to do? Take a foot. Okay, so I take away a foot from here and bring one foot over here. One foot is how many inches? Twelve. What? So, yes, 12 inches. So, 12 inches plus five inches makes 17, 17 inches. You see how we did that? Now I take, a, I take away eight from 17, which is nine inches. And then I take four feet from five feet, that's which one is one foot. foot nine inch. So after I cut off four foot, eight inches, this is what I have remaining. One foot, nine inches. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now we're moving to multiplying by powers of 10. Totally a totally different topic. I don't know why they do it like this, but now we're multiplying by powers of 10. What I mean by that is this. If I told you to go 1.2 times 10 to the third power, have you seen this yet? Anything that looks like this before? Think Not so. really? No. Okay, what is 10 to the third power? Do you remember? What does that mean? Uh, 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 times 10. And so 10 times 10 times 10. I think that's 30. No, that's a hundred. No, how many zeros does it have? A thousand. Right. So this is actually telling me to multiply by a thousand, right? They're telling me to take 1.2 and multiply it by a thousand. Now, an easier way to do this is to know how many is that? Three zeros. Isn't that fun? It's easier. Uh -huh. You basically, if it's 10 to the fourth power, I would have put four zeros. Okay? Mm -hmm. Makes it easy. Okay, now. Do you remember when you multiply decimal numbers, what you can do to the decimal? Mm, move it. Right, which way? To the right. Very good. Because you're multiplying, you move it to the right. If you're dividing, you move it to the left. Mm -hmm. So if this said divided by a thousand, you would move it to the left, but it doesn't. It says times. So, <clears throat> ready? Count how many spots I'm gonna move it. Three. Okay. One, two, three. You're exactly right. So 1.2 becomes one, two, three. Which makes it over $1,200. Oh, $1,200 or $1,200. However you want to say it. So the answer to this problem is that. Got it? Okay. Now, you don't have to write it out and show all that. You can just go, okay, I'm supposed to do three, so that means one, two, three. See how you could quickly do that in your head? All right, let's try another one. Are you fully getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so ready? Here's another problem. 
6.2 times 10 to the second power. Now, what am I actually doing? What is 10 to the second power? Oh, uh, that's uh, 100. 100. Now, you don't have to use that unless you want to. Okay? How am I going to take 6.2 and multiply it by 100? Uh, go twice. Right. So 6.2 becomes 1, 2. And that's my 20. Okay? So, do you like using this method or do you just like using the one up top? Because you can do it whichever way you want to. Probably this method for starting. but then Okay, that's fine. Thing and that's fine. Okay, now let's take this very last thing. Here's what they're asking me to do. They want me to write a half billion in standard notation. Now, what you just saw a while ago when it said 1.2 times 10 to the third power, this is called scientific notation. Standard notation is a normal non number. So this would be scientific. Let me just show you this real quick. Scientific notation is this. And then 1.2, if I did this problem, would be 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's my new number. This is standard notation. It's a normal number. So you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Standard notation, scientific notation. That's how they label it. So they want us to take <clears throat> one point, um, I'm sorry, half billion, and they want me to write it as a number. Okay? So what you're going to do, what is a, this is the easiest way to do this. What is a half in a decimal form? Do you know? What is uh, half? Decimal, like, 0.5. Point 0.5, yes. Okay, now, point 0.5. Now, okay, you're basically going to multiply point 0.5 because we're doing half of a billion. And do you remember math of means times? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're doing half of a billion. So I'm taking point 0.5 times a billion. Do you know what a billion is? Yeah. Let's figure this out, okay? So um, that's zero, 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 thousand. Zero, zero, zero million, I'm going to have to keep backing up, zero, zero, zero billion. That says one billion dollars. And they're wanting me to take half of a billion dollars. So 0.5 is my half, you're staying with me, of this. Okay, now stay with me. How many zeros do I have? Uh, you have one, nine. two, yes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what happens to this point five? Uh, you move it nine places. Very good. So point five is this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go in and fill the rest in with zeros. Go in and add my commas. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, so how much money do I have? 500. This is thousand. This is million. million. Five hundred million dollars is half a billion. Got it? You see how we did that problem? Yep. Okay. If this said one fourth, what would I use as a decimal? You would point four, I think. Um, almost. Think about a dollar. Point zero four. Okay. Well, wait. How many quarters are in a dollar? Uh, four. four. So one out of four would be 25. 0.25. Okay? So just a kind of quick little, just to help you, one fourth is 0.25. One half is 0.5. Three fourths is 0.75 because it's a quarter. Yeah. Or you make this fit even. Okay? Two fourths is 0.50. Right. Okay? Yeah. You get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so and then we'd have a dollar from point zero zero. All right, but do you see how I get one fourth? Yeah. Now, if you don't know that it's point two five, you can come over here and go one. Whoops, I'm sorry. One divided by four and figure it out. Okay, which would give us eight, nine, ten. Bring down the zero, point two five. Okay, mm -hmm. so you could actually do the problem if you couldn't remember what one fourth is as a decimal. But it's just easy to remember that one fourth as a decimal is 0.25. Okay? Yep. Feel like you got it? Yeah. That's lesson 113.